what is going on with the Cardinals. Buda Baker got himself a raise, signed a $300,000 signing bonus today. He's going to get an additional $2.4 million in bonuses and some incentives for this season and next. And uh, it's just a matter of time. I don't think anybody really worried about it. Yeah, with him uh, showing up yesterday and participating, whatever those drills you want to call them yesterday, is interesting. And we talked a little bit about it. It didn't seem like a hold in. And I, I felt at that time, guys, I felt there was a good faith negotiations going on in order for him. He's there. He knew he was going to be there. But to actually be on the field, like a lot of guys or hold-ins aren't on the field, I just kind of went something's up or something's in uh, good faith that would come out. And it did. Come out to Came out to fruition that he's going to make a few extra bucks the next couple of years. And Jonathan Gannon can't be any happier to have him on board. Of course, he is that leader in that clubhouse. I mean, you got to try to keep some of the guys there. I sure. mean, with all the turnover, yeah. with all the new coaches and all the new players, I mean, it's been a complete makeover of this team. He's the captain, guys. He's you got the a captain. guy. You need the guy in there that you keep hearing that he's such a good locker room guy. We don't know we're not in the locker room with him, but from what we hear, uh, he's he's that guy. But it's surprising that, you know, he wanted to get traded or he wanted to be the highest paid, but he elected to say, all right, I'll just stay here. I think it has to do with his family, too. And he's got a. I think you're right. Uh, you know, uh, what is it, younger his sisters, sisters at ASU? Yeah, maybe yep. that has something to do with it. And, um, and maybe he believes in where his team is going. Well, it's going to be it's going to be a two three win season. And uh, on top of that, obviously he's satisfied the, the money he has. He'll play out this contract and move on for another extension. And I think for him, just taking that leadership role and all he's been through already the last few years. I mean, there's probably nothing he can't handle. So this will kind of scratch that itch for him for right now and stick around and hopefully be that guy that helps lead the charge. You know what, guys? He might like this four three offense this defense. More so than he than he did this that thirty four front where he's more involved as a as a guy that's more of a hybrid in and out up and down to suits his game so that's a great move Cardinals I just he took care of business I'm just uh, real curious I, I just think that with him being there that sort of solidifies their defense as far as the new guys are concerned and now with Zaven Collins putting his hand down in the dirt Buddha's there to Get, kind of have his back a little bit, Manuch, and say, come on, man, you can do this. You can get this done. Here, try this, try that. Uh, just that experience factor, I think, is going to be huge. Well, I think of that that big sigh of relief was Jonathan Gannon, yeah. the head coach over there, that they got this thing done. Now, and I'm like you, Jimmy. I'm like, he feels a sigh of relief. He feels good. He's got his leader in the clubhouse and also on the field uh, to help with this new defense. Yeah, Monty Austin for it. It just keeps, he keeps doing the right thing. You know, it seems wherever you see this first-time GM and what he does, what he's been able to do, you got to give him a lot of credit. Now, he didn't get a new contract for Buddha, didn't get him a, a nice extension, just got him paid, mm -hmm. made him feel appreciated, right? Yes, so, yep. he, give him credit. He he's uh, he's he's doing a good job, I yeah. think, uh, right now. At least, but it all does. You, he you can be a great guy when it comes to the business side, but yeah. if they don't win on the field. And the guys that he's drafting, it's not going to matter. Well, I, I think he learned a lot from New England, obviously, uh, and learned a lot from Tennessee. So I think what they did is is they satisfied Buddha. Didn't affect the cap, but just more money for incentives, right? Plus a bonus. And to your point, Rock, yeah, the business side, he he figured it out with having to get any kind of issues as far as uh, avoiding any kind of cap hits one way or the other. You know what may happen is the season may get going. It, they may surprise some people, and then they say, "All right, Buddha, let's extend." Once sure. the season gets going. I and that might be that. it. Yeah, I could I, see I, that. There's probably another move there. I mean, I would think maybe. If not this year, next year. Yeah. They'll say, hey, look, uh, let's let's revisit this. I love that term. Let's revisit, revisit. this. <laughs> we'll revisit this next year. But for right now, how about we do this, 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 and this? And obviously, if Buddha feels that, hey, that's, they're, they're showing good faith that they're going to take care of me a little bit this year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, next year, I'll get back to the top three payment as far as safeties are concerned.